Well, I'm doing it. And while I'm waiting for my phone to dry, I'm running one of my favorite locomotives. A Lionel Post War 2046 that about four years ago when I first expressed the interest in old gauge trains, one of my friends from high school messaged me on Facebook and she's like, hey, I've got some of my grandpa's trains in my basement and we're cleaning out my basement and, you know, I'd like you to have them. You know, you can fix them up and get them running. So I went over to her house and uh, she had some American Flyers. She had this 2046 um, and a couple other Lionel engines. I don't even remember at the time because I... Uh, oh, a 2020. I have it up in my garage. That's what it is. And um, I got this, and I got it running, and uh, made a video for her. And I run it on my Christmas layout every year. And she's thankful to see her grandpa's train running again. She wanted to give me everything for free, but I knew it had value, so I paid her a fair market price for the stuff. And um, I'm currently running it with a Pennsylvania tender that I bought for it. It has the six wheel truck on it. And I was just running this at 13 volts. Um, so, got a six wheel truck tender on it. The locomotive, I never cleaned it up. I just left it as it was. I like the old, dirty, played with, weathered look. Uh, like I said, I just t tuned it up and um, here's the original tender that came with it. <laughs> have to love the sounds of the old school tenders, the whistles, and just the sheer smell of this thing running is amazing. Um, then obviously it smokes like a champ. So let's go ahead and put it back onto uh, 13 volts and let it run around the layout. And I've added some foam here. As I've said, I decided to move forward with this project. Uh, nice thing about working with foam, if you don't like it, we can always change it out. Then if we make our way over this way, hauling, you know what, Pennsylvania Coal Train Express. Uh, that's actually the consist that came with this Pennsylvania J1 uh, MTH Premier Proto 3. It was the locomotive and then the five war bonds hoppers with the caboose. So I also added in a little more over here as I start to build this up. So I'm gonna make this like a, it's going through the side of the mountain where they had to cut this out. And I'll make a scene over here and then it'll match up what was right there. So sort of gives it a little bit more dimension. Maybe even put a lake in here. That might be sort of cool at the bottom of the mountain. So that's what I'm up to. Thanks for checking it out. It's on autopilot, 13 volts. Not flying off the track yet. Um, 081 curves will do that for it. And oh yeah, by the way, this is my carving tool of choice. Everyone always asks me, what do I carve the foam with? This is just a little saw blade with a handle. It's like 11 bucks at the hobby shop. Um, so that's what I use to do all of my cutting and carving. So, a little bit about my favorite, one of my favorite post war engines. I have some of those all over the place. Um, and I do like to run them because sometimes it's just relaxing. And you don't have to worry about any electronics going out. So, it's good to have a, a variety of taste, I guess. With that... I'm out.
talk to you next time. And thanks for checking it out.